Hi everybody. So what we're going to look at now is benzyl oxidation. Uh, and so what that means is you're going to take your benzene ring or some aromatic and benzyl position is one away. So in this molecule we actually have two benzyl positions, one here on the right and one here on the left. And what we also need is a strong oxidizing agent. So one of these chromium oxidizing agents or another good one that you'll see is K and then O4, so potassium permanganate, are really good strong oxidizing agents. And so what they'll do is take this benzylic carbon and convert it to carboxylic acids. Now, let me draw the product for you and then we can talk about it. So we keep the benzene ring, and we're going to take this carbon chain on the right, and we're going to lose that end carbon and just make a carboxylic acid. Now, we're actually going to keep the one on the left just the way it is. And this is the trick to it. There's got to be at least one hydrogen on that benzylic carbon for you to be oxidized. So if we come back to this original one, there's two hydrogens. So that means we can oxidize it. All right? So as long as there's at least one, we can oxidize it to a carboxylic acid. In this case, it's carbon, 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 so there's no hydrogen implied, so we can't oxidize it, so this one gets a left alone, and this gets converted to our carboxylic acid. Alright, let's look at one more. I think this one's a little tricky because it's in a ring, but as long as you keep your rules, that as long as it's a benzylic carbon, right, which is one away from a benzene ring, so here, and I'm going to put a little red dot so we know that one, and then we also have a second one here. Our second rule is it's got to at least have one hydrogen, so this one has two, so we're good. This one has two, so we're good. Right? As long as it has at least one, we're okay. So now we draw our benzene ring. And remember, no matter what that group looked like before, that benzylic carbon is going to get turned into a carboxylic acid. So that becomes a carboxylic acid, and the bottom one becomes a carboxylic acid. We don't care that it's in a ring, that there's more carbons out there, we're just going to get rid of them and we're going to oxidize this to a carboxylic acid. That's right, so the two things. It's got to be benzylic, which means one away from a benzene ring, and there's got to be at least one hydrogen. So there can be one, two, or three. It doesn't matter, as long as there's at least one. All right, and we need that to kind of get that foothold to, to get the oxidation started. All right, and it's got to be a strong oxidizing agent. So typically what you see is either one of these chromic acids or potassium permanganate, which is KMnO4. So those are the two to look for, and they're really strong oxidizing agents.